Hi there, hi there, it's Timmy Joe. I just wanted to talk a little about my experience using the Corsair H60. Not a new uh, AIO solution by any means, however, we do have a new CPU platform from AMD. I want to let you know my experience using it with the Ryzen system, as well as using it with an Intel-based system, and uh, just some general performance information, and uh, some mounting information, and all that good stuff. So, cue an intro, and we're going to talk all about cooling. <laughs> So, what does this old AM2 weirdo aluminum cooler have to do with that H60 top of the line model? Well, the mounting system for AM4. That's right, the reason why the H60 works with AM4 as well as all of AMD's platforms to AM2 as well as Intel and uh, you know their 1151, 1155 sockets is because it uses a top replaceable mounting system that works you know has little sliders no problem with Intel I'll actually get to an older Intel system even uh, a Core 2 Duo 775 mounting solution in a second but it works with AMD not by using that type of system but by using the old pinchy system so when you get a 1700 you get this nice lovely wraith cooler if you get a 1700x and 1800x you know you don't get anything but uh it remains to be seen what you get with the r5 and r3s but from what we hear it's actually a uh, dumbed down version of this cooler which kind of sucks so you're probably looking for an you know an outside cooler no matter what although I gotta say with the 1700 this race cooler it works very very well I really really liked it so uh, you don't even need to buy any other air solution but use this one in my opinion if you're buying a 1700 because this works so well but to get that little bit extra that AIO worked a treat so how it mounts is, you see here, it uses the old two uh, on either side pinch mounting solution. But instead of having some, you know, archaic slide mechanism or something, it uses uh, little screws like this uh, on either side. And you get to, you know, tighten them, you know, on either side, kind of one at a time real slowly to get your perfect seal around your CPU for AM4. So it works well that way. It's one of the only AIOs that say it works with AM4 out of the box, but that's because my Asus motherboard came with two so, uh, mounting solutions. It has a back plate with two plastic uh, mounting points for the old AM3 style pinch, you know, what connectors, or you can take that out uh, for screws and then you use the back plate it came with and four mounting screws that are completely different than uh, you know they're, they're offset than any uh, Intel solution and uh, you screw them all in one at a time so just know that but uh, you know it worked very well it worked out nicely I have no complaints using the old pinch style and I'm sure there'll be an update to this system and many others so that it uses that for you know screw system because that is you know a little bit cleaner of a solution so the cooler itself, it, uh, it works uh, very, very well. It ha you know, it's not aesthetically, you know, there's no RGB. It's a little bit of glossy plastic on the pump itself, some rubber hoses, uh, you know, a black rad that looks like it's straight out of uh, a car or something like that. And uh, a, a fan that's not all that pretty, it's gray and black. You'll want to connect that fan with uh, its four pins to your CPU header on your motherboard and connect the pump to one of the auxiliary headers because the auxiliary headers don't tend to have that extra pin and you'll want CPU fan like control on the radiator fan and just general control on the pump, okay? 
That being said, uh, what was weird was the manual told me, if I'm mounting it the regular way in a 120 mil hole, to put the fan between the rad and the case, which made it a lot louder. I'm sure it actually made it louder because it was sucking air through the, uh, the rad uh, and, and providing better cooling. But I see everyone mount the fan, then the rad. Uh, so I'm not sure, you know, what the difference is between there, but because I mounted it in a one or a 200 millimeter fan slot, I just actually mounted it through the grill and it worked out very, very well here. Um, I didn't run into any noise issues because it's, it's venting out the top of my case and there's no tight seal around it. So, but I got really good solid performance out of it. There is a copper, uh, back plate, uh, that actually touches your, your motherboard, a copper slug or sorry, your, your CPU, and uh, provides the cooling as well as the pump itself, the, the mounting points for the, uh, the hoses pivot, which is really nice because, you know, there's no worry about pinching anything or it not, uh, you know, going in a direction you want it to. But very utilitarian, like I say, it's not going to win any aesthetic awards. And uh, just a little secret, I actually got it to work on an older Core 2 Duo system because I wanted to see how far I could overclock that. And that's a socket 775. And how I did that was the top plate actually uh, worked, but uh, Intel moves their holes around just enough that I could not get this bottom plate to work. So I just used some uh, some bolts on the bottom that fit with uh, the screws provided uh, in the box, and I got it to work. So it's actually fairly versatile. You might need to source some other hardware, but no other hardware provide uh, needed. That you know everything comes in the box, as you see here. Um, you know, for your standard, you know, newer Intel systems and uh, AMD. So, you know, it, it's all good that way. So all in all, I would definitely say this is worth, I, I only bought this for $69.99 Canadian. You could probably pick it up for 50 bucks American. And I'd recommend it over getting, you know, an air solution for sure. Because why not? I mean, people might like giant, you know, aluminum heat sinks getting in the way of the ram but when it comes to clearance and stuff like this out of the box it works very very nicely and uh, if you want rgb you know you can always <laughs> find another solution for that so i'm timmy joe if you have any questions about this cooler i will answer them in the comments below or on instagram and twitter there's also a link in the description that will allow you access to see the pricing on amazon and if you buy it through that link heck i even get a little kickback so i'll leave you to that and there are tons of other Ryzen videos, so hit the subscribe button coming up. My name is Timmy Joe, and I thank you very much for watching this review. Have yourself a aluminum radiator block of a day. <laughs>